Yeah, it's a Wii version. Also, welcome to Chapter 2 of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Chapter Prologue. Got you the ideas of what time I'm going to be doing. Hey, wake up, Link! It's morning already! Uh, yeah. Link has to be woken up. So, you just go down the ladder or you press A to just drop down very quickly. And you also need to do the same thing again. Now, if you're wondering... There's also this little thing here, but we can't get down there yet because we don't have the right, we don't have the necessary equipment, so we need to just go outside. <gasps> ah! Oh, Link, didn't you hear? They're sending a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot? I wonder how powerful it is. I. I need. I must try it. Those two are brothers, by the way. One of them is a deadpan snarker, and the other one is just enthusiastic. But our answers are terrible. Oh, I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wet. Get your priority straight, man! Sheesh! Get your priority straight, you got a water wheel. That's good for business in your end. Alright, so. She's in a hurry. So what we're doing now is um, is not going the right way, obviously. I do admit this part I did actually get lost on. Hmm. So, our first port of call is to find, um, hey. is to find a, um, cradle. Oh. Now we've got the Z-targeting right. Alright, so climb up the vines, you just run up to it. It's the same, it's the same principle as using the ladder from earlier. And there we go. Right, so now we need to just go and get some grass. Okay, so really. So, what this does, this is hawk grass. It works in the same principles as uh, the horse grass with a pona. Just the music is a bit different. Okay, so here we go, the hawk is on its way. Like so. So what we need to do now is look for a tree. So we need a survey. You see that thing over there? We need to set up uh, that. Hmm, that's bee lava that is. But for what purpose though? There may be something up there. But we also need to find a cradle. Which I'll just try again in a second. Let's see what this does. There isn't anything on top, is it? Doesn't look likely. Now this is going to go very south for me if there, there was something up there, because I do not want to find out what it is up there. It turns out a, a monkey might have uh, nicked it or something like that. Ah oh dear me, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here, aren't I? So, balancing that. If you get up here after this, you get you get five, a blue ruby, which is worth five. And also you're going to get a yellow ruby, which is worth ten. So, 15 rubies straight off the bouncer. Oh, out uh, to her, but at least I don't lose any health points for it. That's going to be um, crucial though, so now we need to go back up here. Uh, we just need to go and get the, um... Oh, oh, hold on. There's another one up here, just ahead. Hold on a second, that's what I'm looking for.
Don't need to do it a second time though. Just gonna. Oh yes, I completely forgot about these um, things. So what we need? You see that flying thing over there? I should be able to get this. Oh, thank you very much, PK Bash. I would play the GameCube version, but I haven't got the right equipment. So anyway, we've got the cradle. Now, right, take it back to the m the one who the mum now over there. I want to get of this. We'll be able to get something else. There we go. Oh, all right. We got the cradle back from uh, for the wife. And now we need to take it back to her house, which is not too far away. It's literally just up here. <laughs> I buy completely now. We uh, we have now got the fishing rod. Right, and also we just need to we need to do some fishing now. So what we need to do now is press the minus button, and it will come up this little tiny thing. What we need to do is set the fishing rod with the B button. Now we need to see where that cat has gone. Because if I remember correctly, there was a cat waiting on, which is not in this direction. It is completely not in this direction, or what on earth am I say? Last time I went down this route, I got a bit stuck, so it can't be that really. So what we need to do here is get a fishing rod. And we just need to wait for some fish to come along. Oh, got it. Now, if you see that go down, you need to flick up on the wheel, right, which I've just done. Huh, green gill. 11 inches. Also, this adds our fish one. Might get uh, some other fishes on that one as well. So, so we need to do the same thing again for a second time. Basically identical. Oh, hello. I forgot the cat. I forgot the cat likes the fish. I don't know where they're heading. Cat flap. Okay, so that's actually caused that problem now. So I can put the fishing rod away now. So that's going to work out pretty well, actually. on the ladder. Thank you very much. So there we are. So I don't know how much it costs for a slingshot but I'm just going to go around the back here. You don't need to press anything at this point to get to that point but I think it might be a bit... No, nope, hold on. I should be able to use this route, shouldn't I? Uh, I actually... I actually can't. Never mind! That's out, unfortunately. So, anyway, let's find another way to get over there and let's actually go inside now. Why is it just trapped uh, out where our cat is other? Good question. It looks very real, doesn't it? Ah, because. Here, yeah, he's got wow, white light. We did it. So, because we managed to solve that for the cat, we've been granted the bottle. Well, milk in the bottle, that is. It's half empty. It's, I'm surprised it actually doesn't go sour. But anyway, it says that we replenish three hearts every time we use it. And we can, when it's empty, we can use it for something else, quite obviously. Anyway, let's take a look and see how much it's that slingshot. Oh, it's 30. So... So I need to find 15 more rubies to get the um, slingshot. So let's go hunting. So ruby hunting time now. I'm gonna get murdered for this. Green are worth one, and it, yeah, you can tell it's not worth much when you. <laughs> Only me can throw it into the river. So green rubies are not worth anything at all. But they do grow back. I like a certain other item. 
Aha! That's a 5 one, so that's going to be helpful if I can get it. Come on, Link. You're not that shit. Oh, well, no, I can't say that, can I? This is a Nintendo game, I can't swear. Ring around a rose is a bucket full of poses. I wish I can get a ruby so I can actually get coins. I know, bad joke. Hey! What did I tell you? <laughs> I said I would get killed! Well, it could be worse. It could be another game, though. No, I know there's definitely some more coins which I need to um, collect. A new ruby, some more rubies, definitely. There must be some which I have simply forgotten about. Hmm, four are fine now. Definitely needs to find a few more. And I need to get on that side as well, don't I? The pumpkins will take quite a bit of time to grow back, but I really should have done this much sooner, so... Yeah, you can tell I have not played this in a very long time, so um, let's find some more. Uh, one! Ah, there we go. Now we've got 30, so now we can go to the... Oh, there was one there, you silly sausage. You silly Billy, there was another one underneath. But anyway, I've got the uh, 30 which I require, so let's get back to the shop. Damn, I suffered a frame drop. Ah, oh, so bee larvae is useful for fishing, but that's enough of that. Okay, so that's our next main item in the quest. This is a slingshot. It's not pretty useful, but it will do the job for now. Anyway, that's enough. So anyway, let's go. Right, so let's get back to the house, shall we? Which is just up here. And if you wonder why I put it in the way Oh, hello. Is this Russo? It's it. Hey. hey, just in time, Link. I just said over something to your room. Okay, so first off, we actually need to go to the house. Oh, hello. Stop a second. So, well, that's one way of doing it. Ah, oh dear me, I should remind myself to set an item before we actually do that. But anyway, we got it done, so that's the main thing. And there's our chest, so what we need to do is just go and open it. Okay, so it's a sword. It's your wooden sword. It's been fully repaired now, so what we need to do... Okay, so it's already set now. He's already got it on his back, so I don't need to worry about that part. So let's go back outside now. This is definitely taking a little bit longer than I would have wished. But then again, this is the first time we're doing it. So now we talk to the kids. Okay, so first off, this will be two parts here. What this basically is, is target practice. So the trick here... It's to use the slingshot and hit the scale. And let's go. I thought they were tykes, not um So you can just Z target and then release the B button for the um for the scarecrows. While you use the Wii remote. And the control stick in unison to get the other ones. There's another target somewhere. There we go. 100% perfect. Yeah, it is a great game. The wooden sword, yeah, I've not really had that glitch though. I've heard of the um, early Master Sword glitch. Because I got the sword earlier, we don't have to go back in the house for it. Right, swordsmanship next next up. The slates. 
That's just a simple, um, you just swing the Wii Remote whichever way you want to do it. Next up. There we go, that's a stab motion, so that's the next one. There we go, we shut, finish that done. That's our swords done. Oh, hold on a minute, there's one more. The jump attack, you just need to Z jump, D, press A, you're done. Those moves will come in handy. Most definitely. Uh, Monkeys. Uh, what? Oh, don't tell me. Is he? <laughs> yes, he is, isn't he? <sighs> Human stupidity doesn't know any bounds, does it? Anyway, let's go after them. Also, by you, because I have a sword now, you can actually cut the grass. Well, just this is Beth, by the way. You can also use the sword motion using this Wii, the Wii remote. Like so. What's he doing? Oh, great! Someone's gone a bit too far here. That's for certain. Because the pen is not right. I'm just having to run after them here. Yeah. I could have actually just used the pony for this part. I don't know why I didn't. Or could I? I don't know it. Anyway, far on woods this section is. A section which we've never been to, to before. Now I'm just using it just to get some... I don't need heart. That's one heart replenish. But seeing as I got all three though, that doesn't necessarily mean a problem for me. I'm just collecting a few rubies here. I want to make sure I have at least a few so I can move ahead in the game. Because it's going to be needed. Oh, hold on. I actually do need a pony for this part. So, you need to get the horse grass, which is just noticed on my... Which you probably have just noticed, to collect the pony. So, I'm actually going to run up here and get it on her. Now, run like the windy pony! There we go. So, now we're into another section. So now, yeah, and you can only use a pony for a small part. Oh, hold on. Need to get off here. Trying to use the. The problem, the problem is with the Wii version is where every time you use a spin attack, it will take a little bit of time to charge up again. And that's a disadvantage in comparison to the GameCube version. Oh, hello. Oh, an Ordonian! Hey, guy. Listen, I'm not sure you should be wandering around the woods without a lantern. Just because it's daylight doesn't mean it's safe. There are tons of caves and dark, dank spots around here that get pretty dark. Even in the middle of the day. Here, go on, guy. Take this. Okay, so this is a lantern. This will be pretty useful here. You can see it in dark places. So this one will be very useful. He also sells an oil lantern, so... Wait, hold on. You can also set items to um, the directional pad on the Wii mode, which I'm just demonstrating to you right now. And whenever you need to use it, you press Z. You press Z button and use the B button to use. Okay, so now I don't want to use too much of it. I just put it away for now. Every time it's out there, you use oil. And by the time, and if the oil runs out, you will be, um, you won't be able to see. Oh. oh, go away. And these are the pumpkins, and these are the seeds that uh, the shop lady was for mentioning. Well, oh, hold on a minute, that's a plain wooden sword. Hello, so we must have gone up this way. <sighs> so he's gone this way, that's not good. But I'm going to light these up as well along the way. Also, whenever you use your sword, the lantern goes into a hoister. Ooh, 
I don't, I don't want to break the sword. You can't actually break the sword on the walls here in this game, so... I don't want to know about that. Anyway, let's keep moving. And you can also use the lantern to burn those webs. Oh, rats. No pun intended, I can assure you. Anyway, there is something down here which you need to do. Actually, that's the exit. See, that way, we'll take you that way. But I do need to go and find somewhere first, though, which is just up here. Ow. That was not what I had in mind. Yeah, definitely did not. But anyway, so that's fine. Got some heart back. What's in this chest? Ten rubies. Thanks. That will... Now, seeing as I've lit those, they'll stay lit for the rest of the game. Don't want this lantern any longer, so let's just get rid of it and let's head our way back out. Right, we're now in Farrell Woods. We're in the northern part now. I don't want anything to do with that one, that's not good. There's something up here, but you can't go that way yet. You can't get up there yet. And you definitely can't go up that way. Well, I don't... Yeah, you don't... You can't go up that way yet. Oh, I am so stupid. I'm actually quite stupid here, aren't I? And I'm doing... What is down here, anyway? I definitely know there's something down here which I really don't need to be going down yet. But it seems like there's something down here which I need to get. Yeah, it's very dark now. I didn't think that would work. I didn't think that would work, but there you go. Oh, it's a small key, so I did actually need to go down this area. Alright, seeing as I lit those two lanterns over there, it means I get something else too. I, I do not want to be rolling, thank you very much. All I want to do is get up here, like so. Forgot to get the heart, but that doesn't matter. This is our first piece of heart. There are 45 in this game. So that's the first of many. Anyway, don't need the lantern any longer, so let's find out and go on the other part. So what we need to do now is follow the route until we get to the next part here. I don't want anything to do with these enemies, thank you very much. Ow! Oh, for goodness sake, why do I have to get hit by those? Gee, get out of the way. That was, that was a pretty useless tactic, I think. But let's continue onwards. We've now opened the gate. It seems like we need to do more work here. Yeah, you definitely need to do a good swing on the wrist in order to be able to get this one. But there's nothing we can do here. But it seems like there's definitely a problem up ahead. Oh, there's a monkey and Talo have been caught up by those two enemies by the look of things. So anyway, up we go. Ah, we got it. Well, we've done it. That's amazing. That has been rescued along with the monkey. But there's going to be a few words to be said about this one, that's for certain. And he doesn't want to say either. Um, it might be a bit late for that, actually. Thank you. 
He's telling me now that there's something strange going on in the woods. <laughs> the princess, hmm? The long high ruler of Hyrule. Hmm. That's pretty interesting if you ask me. Anyway, following day at Ordar Ranch. <laughs> Sorry. I think it's just contemplating about the task ahead. Hold on. Enough of that. Let's get the horse grass once more. This thing is becoming really useful in this first part of the game, that's for certain. <sighs> there, we, there she is. There's a pona. Get on. Hey. Right, let's get these horse. It's the same um, principles as before, so, but they're, they're double the amount. Oh, get the snake goat. Now, where is the other? Ugh, dear me. Oh, troll of a goat, eh? Well, I don't need, at least I didn't need a wolf for that one. Yeah! Ugh, holy goat! Goats! Goats! Get in there! Ah, dear me. Time was definitely not off the essence sir. I say that with sarcastic remarks. 150 faster than the usual. Excellent. Right, okay, let's go. Up to the gates again. Same old principle. Up from earlier. Up we go, and we're out. Back down to the village now, shall we? Back to Odon village, where we're just awaiting our final instructions before heading off. Some familiar men, a familiar man, and a familiar girl. Oh, done hurting for the day, I think. Well, nice work. The world again for us, I told you, is about is ready. So you should get you ready for your trip to Hyrule Castle. Oh dear. What's this? Oh, this is going to end well. Oh, her name's Xavier. You can just tell that's a lot of trouble. Oh, uh, there's no stopping her now, unfortunately. No, it won't do, you're quite right. Right, guess we're going to have to do some walking, haven't we? Hmm, nothing found on that one. Town of 
Porsche, that's for certain. What's this? Oh, what are those two up to again? What the... What, the deadpan snarker? Yep, go on. He sits your eyes so nicely. Oh, his face. They will show me the monkeys. Alright, so he's just gonna do his little practice thing. Ah, oh dear. Well, of course they're teasing you. What do you expect? Because you don't have a sword. Anyway, let's go and find Ilya. She's in the spring. You know the spring that we were towards the... No, it's not that spring, actually. Just after the beginning of the game. So it's just around there. So up north we go again. Wait, stop! She won't allow you in the other way, so this way would do nicely. I almost went to the gates, but if you go to the gates, the gates are locked. So, you're not going to be able to get through. No way, Jose! So, what you need to do is go onto the right just beforehand. You go down this little path and we enter this cutscene once more. Right, all I can say is, make the most of it. Connor is just telling her everything. So she does care for Link, deep down. Sad. <laughs> oh dear. And Link gets knocked out. I'm surprised that he didn't drown. There's Mars. They look pretty neat, don't they? And they left Link in the spring. We've got everything we need. Oh, good to What is that noise? What is that? Right, let's move! The link is still unconscious. Well, was unconscious, and now he's back up on, on his feet. I'm wondering what on earth has happened. <laughs> Link point of view. That's a nice one. <laughs> and, uh, oh, what is that? Oh, come on, where's your PG? Where's your PG-ness on that one? Was it 12 or PG? I don't know which. Whatever the case is, something frightening is about to happen. <laughs> is that what I think it is? <laughs> what is this? Oh dear, but Link is not feeling so good. Uh, 
I don't have the HD remaster, unfortunately, is that? So it's a Wii version. I do prefer, well, if I, if I have to be pedantic, I prefer the GameCube version. That's our man. But who is that mysterious figure? Well, if you say so. Also, if you want to get other people to watch it, that's absolutely fine. Can you get them all, send them my direction? Anyway, let's save this one, this next part. I own a Wii and a GC version. By the way, that's enough of chatting for this part. As soon as this save is done, we move on to the third chapter. Mm -hmm.